Hello guys and girls and today we are going to speak about new event called Weapon Depot. So we have uh, been having uh, similar events to this but rewards are a little bit different. So first of all we have replayable quests so if you spend 600 minutes or 10 hours of speed ups you get one of supplies. You need 100 supplies to get guaranteed Snow Wolf weapon chest. Uh, this wolf may contain a red ancient weapon for Rob Stark. And then we have one time quests, which when you complete, you cannot complete them again. And it gives uh, 10 supplies each. We have three quests. So if you do these three and you do 70 of supplies, you'll get 100 points and you will get a uh, weapon chest anyway. But uh, to get 100 points, you need to obtain with one time quest 70 points more, which means you need 29.2 uh, days of speed ups used during these three days to get this chance to obtain a red weapon. I think if you plan to train your troops anyway, or speed up your research or anything for Tyrion event or motivation one, sure, it's a great way to combine all these things and get this chest. But what is actually surprising when you go to the rankings and you can see that the first place gets guaranteed Ancient Weapon Snow Wolf of Rob Stark. So basically, this weapon will get, will give you 25% calorie attack, total health, 6.25%. Uh, and then uh, we have the additional boost to Rob Stark's War Soul Awakening skill. So instead of getting uh, calorie attack 2% every time when he attacks successfully, you'll get 2.5%, and this is on zero stars, I think. So when you can boost up this weapon even higher, it will uh, boost up its ability even higher, and it surely will be great. So basically, I think this is a really good weapon, and if you're on a smaller server, you think you can make it, it's a good way to speed up stuff and uh, get your ancient weapon. But my personal opinion, if you're not going for top three, getting two additional tests it's not worth it like top 10 only gets red test then rest gets some purple one and blue diamond and then as you can see on this serum we don't have any like it's 12 hours and we don't have 35 accounts who have been doing this so basically i think if you're a little bit higher populated server just do the 100 points get this one red chest and if you're lucky you will get the weapon if not then okay, but I don't think it's uh, really useful to grind, like spend 500 days of speed ups just to try and get this weapon when somebody else can donate one second later and get this weapon because it's only for first place. The weapon itself is same like other special weapons, it has base attributes, four random attributes for a red weapon, and then special effects that gives 5k, 5k army size on 4 stars and the Rob's Warsaw Awakening boost like every ancient weapon gives boost to commander so that's this one so I think there's nothing special about it uh, his awakening skill is not that crazy good it, it can be useful in normal attack setups but it's not crazy good. I think Jamie, Layla, and Sinara weapons are way better. Of course, they are harder to obtain. But yeah, that's basically much it for this event. So I'll post uh, how much the calculation for how much uh, days you need. If you, I think you need 42 days if you don't complete one time quest. And if you do complete them, you need like 29. 30 days. I'll post calculation uh, in the uh, uh, left lower corner so you guys can see if you think that's worth it going for it or not. I think it's worth it spending 30 days in these three days combining it with Tyrion and training motivation so you can get like additional Tyrion medals and motivation and you get this one red uh, test that 
might drop you the weapon you never know so that's basically much it for this video thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one